Team Rich or Team Andre? Team Rich, always, because you're my brother. Yeah. No high five, though? Oh. High five. I just need to know, Alina, are you on Team Andre or Team Rich? For who to lose? Yeah, who do you want to win and who do you want to lose? I mean, I, I would want to see Andre in the program. Oh. <laughs> team Rich or Team Andre, Natalia? But the one that's going to use it the most. Who's going to use the CPAP the most? Okay, that's a very <laughs> diplomatic answer. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. Well, yeah, maybe that way they'll get motivated. So you or Andre, but. All right, whoever uses the most. We yeah. got it. What's going on, everybody? So we have an update with the CPAP contest Andre versus Rich. <laughs> Last we left you, it was five to three, Andre. Let's see what has changed since September 10th. Let's uh, start off with Monday, September 16th. What did you get for a score? I got a 65. Oh. What about uh, you? 59. Okay. What did you get for your mask seal? Uh, so I got, I still had a 5 out of 20 for the max, mask okay. seal, yeah. And you, uh, usage hours? This is 5 and a half. I had 356. And how many events did you have? Um, let me, okay, the events were... All three events for three events, okay. yeah, because probably because of the bad seal still. I question the reliability of the machine, how accurate it is right. with the high leakage in the events it's detecting. Exactly. Okay. So you're up six, six three. three. Yeah. Okay. Tuesday, September seventeenth. What'd you get for a total score? Fifty four. Seventy four here. Oh, nice. Five hours, nice. twenty five minutes. <clears throat> nice. My seal was zero out of twenty, man. Oh man. Usage was five and eleven. Is this using the ResMed F20? This is using the previous mask I had, this one. It's using the previous mask. I thought you switched to the, the F20 since. No, it, this was before that. The oh, scores this was before. are before that. Oh, I see. I got we're, you. We're getting there. Okay. We're getting to okay. The one that. Okay. So that's 6 4 for six, the score. Four. Um, okay. We're moving on to Wednesday, September 18. This one was really tough. 42 for me. 44. Wow. Just it out. Two points. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So we have so, what? 6-5? Yeah, 6-5, six, yeah, six, Wednesday, September 18. We go to Thursday, September 19 is when I got the other mask, right? Um, this one right here, correct? That's got to be, is it this one? No, no. it's not that one. It's, oh, it's, uh, it's a ResMed F20. F20, so yes. You got a good, you got a good seal. You got a good that. seal. 20 out of 20. My score is 81. Oh, no. 78. <laughs> uh, Just missed. Yes, three points. Okay. So that's 7-5. 7 5, seven, five is yeah. the score. Uh, we go to September 20. Okay. Friday. Oh no! Look at your numbers. That's Eighty-seven. Incredible. Eighty-seven out of hundred. Let me <laughs> so see. So that what... just that seal, just switching the mask, was insane because it was twenty out of twenty, right, for the seal. Look at your event, sixty-six point seven with a twenty out of twenty. That's why I question the right. machine whether or not the algorithm is really picking up the correct AHI. Yeah. You know, with that, and you're on a lesser setting than your therapeutic setting to get right. used to it, right? You're still at five, yeah, four to five, I okay. believe. So what are you up right now? Eight five. So it's yes, it's eight five September twentieth. We're gonna go to Saturday September twenty one. I went to fifty eight. I went to zero. Oh, you didn't. I only had three hours of usage. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the uh -huh. weekends, man. I tell you, the weekends kind of kill me, right? Saturday uh -huh. is tough. Go, so uh, go to. I think you're gonna beat me Saturday, oh. Sunday, and Monday. I got all zeros. I was sick, very congested. <laughs> Uh, I just, I gave up completely over the weekend. I, oh, I tried. dude. Friday, I was struggling, man. Um, so oh. Sunday then, yeah? Sunday, I got an 82. Oh, wow. You're doing good. But the mask seal started to go down a little bit. 19 out of 20. Yeah, That's still 20. Good. 20 is still good. Those are solid numbers, man. I'm proud that you're right. using the machine. Events, you know, 40 events. That's more accurate. Um, and then we go to Monday, September 23. Oh, man. They got a 47. So again, <clears throat> something happened Monday though, because my seal went to three out of 20 again. You had five masks on and off, so it looks <clears throat> like, and you got a one out of five in that apartment. So maybe you didn't sleep well that night and you yeah, kept adjusting kept your mask, adjusting taking it. it off. It's just a rough night. That could yeah, be it. Yeah, yeah, it could could be it. I was like, you know what? Uh, let's just. Keep so what's going. the score right now? What, am I so down that's already nine. Nine five. Nine five. Oh, yeah. Boy. 
Oh, and uh, then we go to yesterday, where last night's sleep, Tuesday, September 24th. 62 out of 100. I went back to 20, oh, but 22 minutes. 22 I, minutes. <laughs> yeah, still a little congested. Uh, almost over it. I'm going to start tonight. So I'm down 10 to 5. 10 to 5, yeah. Uh -huh. but again, the seal was 4 out of 20. Uh, second night in a row for some reason. Uh, maybe I was thinking, uh, you know, I got the new mask with the straps, and I was thinking maybe, you know, after using it a little bit, they stretched out, so I tightened it up a little bit, you know. Maybe yeah. I was just went on my side, and I kind of moved the mask. We don't know, right? We're, yeah. we're not gonna uh, conclude anything yet. No, we're, just we're gonna going. get we're gonna get long term data. You know, don't don't count. Just like everybody at home, if you have a bad night or two where you get a bad mask seal, or you, you take your mask on and off, don't count that one bad night. But if it consistently happens, <laughs> you know, over a few days, over a week, then maybe you have to make some changes. Yeah. So I'm not too worried about it. You okay. are under a Me, tremendous yeah. amount of stress. <laughs> you know. Uh, Especially yeah, here, yeah, man, you sit being the service manager here and uh, everything else. But I'm proud that you're using it, you yeah. know, every day. You're up 10 to 5, so you, you definitely are the example of using your CPAP. That's here. great, and I, uh, I, I want to conclude with the advice that you gave me. You said, you know, hey, even if it's, if it's half an hour or if it's yeah. whatever it is, just start to uh -huh. get in the habit of always make it part of the routine. Even if it's tough, even if it's just, just, and I'm, 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 that's what actually is getting better. I'm just getting it. You know what? Yep. I got to do it. What's going to happen is going to happen. So of course. I'm glad that I'm kind of getting past yeah. that, that if, whole struggle. Be like, oh, I got to put this I, whole thing up again. So yeah, I just want everybody to get out of the mentality, especially if you're going through Medicare, Medicaid, and most insurances where I think the compliance is four hours a night. So when you're going to bed and if you're new, you may say, there's no way I'm going to wear this thing for four hours tonight and just give up. But even if you just wear it for 10 minutes or 20 minutes and build on your time, you can get it to work out as Andre is a perfect example. I mean, he's times over the weeks have you've been seeing, if you watched our other videos, keep climbing and climbing and climbing. And I just want to give another piece of advice for those of you who are under insurance. And let's say you haven't met that compliance in the first month or two months, you can get what's called a... Um, a peer-to-peer -peer review where you have your doctor call the insurance company and the doctor tells your insurance company in a peer-to-peer -peer review, my patient needs to use this therapy. I want you to extend a, a, a script, an extension uh, for coverage of that therapy. And when we were in the insurance business, we saw that covered 100% of the time. It's almost a, a liability factor, I believe, mm. that the insurance companies, if a doctor is saying they need the therapy, they need an extension on the therapy, they have to provide it. So look for that peer-to-peer -peer review. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we always appreciate a subscription to the channel. And I just want to thank everybody for all the love and support you've given our channel. And uh, I hope most of you are on Team Rich and not on <laughs> Team Andre. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Uh, until next time. God bless you. See ya.